Hey guys, Mr. Chase here. I'm just gonna give you a quick video on the review sheet for our inequalities and equations test. So follow along. If the formatting on your test is a little bit different on your worksheet, it might be it might be that it has a little bit different formatting. Questions one through three are on my first page. You might have one through four. All the questions are still the same though. Okay. All right. Number one solve for x. So I'm going to go right into it, starting with our equation 3x, 3.2x plus 13.4 equals 172.76. If you need to slow down, pause the video at any time, okay? And I start with my line down the middle. I subtract 13.4 minus 13.4 and I get 3.2x is equal to, and I'm gonna do this uh, real quickly, uh, six, three, point, and I'm gonna borrow, that turns to nine, that was a six, so 159.36. I grab my calculator and divide both sides by 3.2. 159.36 divided by 3.2 is 49.8, 49.8, that's going to be letter B. Okay. Number two, a Girl Scout troop, leader, right, orders sashes for her members, the sashes cost 12 32 each. The shipping charge is that there's another $8.00. The total cost of the order is no more than, so it's gotta be less than or equal to $185. Now let's look what they have here, okay? It can't be 8S, okay? Because they the sashes aren't $8 each, so it's gotta be either C or D, okay? Each of the sashes is $8, and then it's either greater than $185 or less than, and we already said it's gotta be no more than, so it can't be more than I'm going to cross off letter C. It's got to be D. Okay. Question number three, pretty straightforward with your calculator. Okay. I'm going to type in, in parentheses, 3, ABC1, ABC2, minus 9, ABC1, uh, sorry, ABC3, ABC4, divided by, in parentheses, negative 2.5. Okay. All of that goes into my calculator all at once. Let the calculator do the work and we get D, 2.5, okay? If you put all that in, you shouldn't have a problem. Calculator work is gonna make it pretty easy. Number four, okay, for me, it's at the top of the next page. For you, it still might be on the first page. Just follow along, it should be fine, okay? And now we're gonna be subtracting. Make sure you can see what I'm doing here. All right, subtraction. So I got part of the same family, 7X minus 3X. That's going to be 4x. I got negative 5 minus negative 2. Type that into my calculator and I get negative 3. So putting them together, 4x minus 3. It's got to leave it with D. Okay. All right. Number 5. Which expression represents the phrase below? 7 subtracted from. Now that means the seven is gonna go in the second spot, right? Seven is getting subtracted from the quotient of a number and six. The quotient of a number and six is division. And from that, I am gonna subtract, I'm gonna subtract seven from that. The only option that gives that to me is C. Okay, remember, it's subtracted from. The seven doesn't come first and then the division. It's the division first, then subtraction. Number six, Barry earns $12 per hour and $6 for each delivery that he makes. He wants to earn more than $300 in an eight hour workday. What is the least number of deliveries he must make, must make to reach his goal, okay? Well, he wants to make greater than $300, okay? He's gonna make $6 per delivery and $12 per hour. Well, we know that he works an eight hour day. 
So I can automatically put in a, a number for my hours. It's going to be an 8. 6D needs uh, 60 plus 96 is greater than 300. And let's solve. I'll subtract 96. Okay. 6D is greater than 204. Divide both sides by 6. Running out of room. I'm going to put it here. D is greater than 204. Divided by 6. Greater than 34. Okay. Now, stop. A lot of people are going to get sucked into that letter A. But letter A is not the answer. D has to be greater than 34. So the, number, the least amount to make his more than 300 goal is going to need to be 35. Okay, 33 is too little, 34 is too little, 40 would get him his goal, but it says what's the least amount. So 40 gets him to his goal, but still is more than. Number seven, Sakaria brought 50 feet of window trim at Home Depot. The trim costs $1.25 per foot, including sales tax. If she paid with a $100 bill, how much change should he have received? Okay, so let's think about it, right? 50 feet times the dollar 25 means he's spending okay he's going to spend a total of 62.50 now people are going to get drawn to that as letter a 62.50 oh i did it right but no it says how much change will he have from a 100 dollar bill i'm going to subtract 100 minus that answer i just got okay minus that answer i just got 37 50. That's what's going to have for change. So again, be careful. 62.50 is going to be the answer that people want to lean towards, but it's not the right answer. Okay. Number eight is on page three for me. might be on page two for you. Which expression is equivalent to two parentheses, three-fifths x minus 2.4 distributive property? I need to multiply that by two. I need to multiply that by two. Two times three ABC five is one and one fifth. One and one fifth is also 1.2, okay? Uh, two times 2.4 is 4.8. It's gonna be a minus 4.8, okay? Uh, I gotta, can't combine those all together, so it can't be B and C. Negative 4.8 there, that looks right to me because this one means they didn't multiply the second part by two. Number nine, Mark took a taxi from, the air, from home to the airport. The tar taxi driver charged an initial fee of $5 plus $2.50 per mile. The total fare was equal to $30. Can you guys see that okay? I'm going to move it up. All right. $5 initial fee, $2.50 per mile, it equals $30. How many miles did Mark travel by taxi? Okay. Minus five. 2.5m equals 25. Divide that by 2.5. I'm sure some of you already got this. 25 divided by 2.5 is 10. 10 miles. Okay, no sentence needed because it's a multiple choice question. So I'm going to go right to my answer. Yep, it's A. That's exactly how many miles he rode. Okay, number 10. Kara goes... Uh, ice skating, $25 to spend, rent skates for $350, $375, and spend $680 per hour to skate at the rink. Okay. Now, I know if she has $25 to spend, she cannot go over $25. Okay, so I can't have it be B, right? Over $25. Move that up. $25 over $25. That's too much. And this is over... $25. So both, it can be either of those. Then they're going to be having me think about renting the skates versus the per hour. Well, this would say that it's $375 per hour and $680 to rent the skates. Uh, I don't think it's that. I think it's saying $680 per hour plus rent the skates can't spend more than $25. I'm going with letter C. Okay. That's good, good thinking there. Good thinking. Pause the video if you need to think about that more. Okay. Number 11. Carmen goes to the drive-in movies with some friends. The 
cost ten fifty for their car plus four seventy five per uh, per popcorn. The total amount Carmen and her friends pay for the car and the popcorn is twenty four seventy five. Which equation can be used to determine the number of popcorns? Okay, P is popcorns. They are four seventy five each, and she has to pay for the car. Okay, so let's look at this first equation four. 75 plus, whoa, that one looks right. No, nope, you're not gonna subtract the car, can't be that. It's not 1050 per popcorn. Although, again, not 1050 per popcorn, so yep, it's gonna be A, okay? All right, take the information, right? Take the information, if you wanna do some highlighting for their car, popcorn, total, right? All that stuff is good stuff. Make sure you're highlighting. Okay, here we go, number 12. What values of x make the equation true? 7x minus 16 is equal to 33. Okay, I'm gonna draw my line, I'm gonna subtract by 16, okay, 33. Excuse me. I'm gonna add 16. Whoa, almost made a huge mistake there. Whew, good thing you caught it. 33 plus 16, that's 49. 7x is equal to 49. Divide both sides by seven. X is equal to seven, it's equal, so that's the only option. Awesome. Almost made a mistake there. Hope you guys caught that as I was saying it. Number 13, Hannah has $25 to spend at the grocery store. She's gonna buy bags of chips that cost 50 cents each and a box of crackers that cost 550. Write and solve an inequality that can be used to turn the maximum number of bags of chips. Well, she can't go over $25, right? So it can't go over, it's gonna be less than or equal to 25. Each bag of chips is 50 cents and she's getting the crackers for 550, okay? Write and solve. So here's my inequality, there's step one. Now let's solve it, okay? Subtract 550, subtract 550. 50 cents per bag of chips is less than or equal to 25 minus 550 is 1950. How many bags of chips can we get out of that? Divide by 50 cents. 1950 divided by 50 cents is C is less than or equal to 39 bags, okay? How many bags of chips? The maximum amount is 39 bags of chips, okay? She wants to, she doesn't want to get that many, she can get anything less than that, 39 or less, right? The circle on the graph includes 39, right? So that would be filled in anything less than that, okay? Number 14, Mrs. Rivers has $100 to spend on parking and admission at the aquarium. The parking will cost $10, and admission tickets will be $22.50 per person, including tax. Write and solve an equation. Okay, so this is gonna be an equation, guys. I'm gonna use my equal sign, okay, for $100. That can be used to determine the number of people she can bring to the aquarium, including herself. Well, it's $22.50 per person, if you haven't gotten that yet, P is person. Plus, she's gotta pay for the parking. Let's solve, minus, one, uh, minus 10 on both sides, 22.50, P is equal to 90, divide by 22.50. Okay. 90 divided by 22.50 is four. She can bring four people. Okay, actually can't just bring four people. Four people can be in her group. She's gotta include herself, okay, All right? Okay, four people, including herself. Last but not least, number 15. For me, it's up at the top of the next page. For you, it might be at the bottom, the page before this. Sarah's ordering candles for her wedding. Each candle costs $6.25. At a one-time shipping fee of $5.50 is added to the cost of the order. The total cost before tax is $255.50. How many candles did she order? It's $6.25 per C candle and 550 for the order. Let's solve. Minus 550. Minus 550. Okay. 625C is equal to 255.50 
minus 550. That takes me down to $250. Divide by 6.25. Okay? And C is going to equal 250 divided by 6.25. She can buy 40 candles. Okay? Now, one way to check this. 6.25 times 40 plus 5. 50. Let me see what that is. 6.25 times 40 means she's spending 250 on candles plus 550 on the shipping. That comes to 255.50, which is exactly what she ends up spending. Okay. There's the review sheet. Again, go back and if you didn't fill any of these in, all right. Um, you know, take take your time. Use the work. Pause the video. See what you can do to get it right. Okay. See you tomorrow in class.